So today I'm going to show you how to cut an image that is larger than your mat. Um, I'm going to use a large Mario. I just recently made a four foot Mario for my son. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go to Upload Images. And I'm going to choose my Mario image. Now for um, this tutorial, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I'm going to get rid of these white corners around the side because that's not a part of my finished product. Um, then when I have that done, I'm going to go to edit. For this video, I'm going to make him three feet high. So let's do 36 inches. And then I'm going to have to zoom back out so we can see everything. What I'm going to do next is move him all the way to the top left corner. And then I'm going to right click and choose ungroup so that it separates all these different layers. And then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to hide all these colored pieces um, that are on top so that it will leave me with just this solid black layer that's underneath. That way when I am building Mario, I'll start by taping together this bottom black layer and then I can just glue these colored pieces on top. And layer them on where they go. Um, so I'm just going to go through and just keep deleting everything or hiding actually I'm not deleting. So hide, hide, hide. So the only thing, uh oh, I accidentally unhid a white layer. Okay, here is this white layer. So I've got everything hidden except for the solid black Mario. So now I'm going to start slicing him. I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to use a square. Um, I'm going to go to edit. No, I'm going to stay here. The square is going to be at the very top. I like to change it to red or something just so it stands out a little bit. Then I'm going to go to edit. And for this I'm going to make him 11 by 11 so that this will fit on our 12 inch mat. I used to use 11.5, which is the largest that will, will cut on the mat, but I found that sometimes it compensated a little bit and actually made it 11.51, which made it not fit. So I just like to stick with 11 because it's a nice even number. Um, I'm going to position this at 0, 0, so it'll be at the very top. Then I'm going to right click and copy that square, and I'm going to right click and paste. So for the second one, our Y position is still going to be at 0 because it's at the top and our X is going to be at 11 so it'll put it right beside that other square. Then I'm going to right click and paste. Again, Y is 0 because we're still on that top row. X is going to be 11 plus 11 so it'll be 22. And everything's covered up so I'm going to start on the second row. I'm going to paste. This time on our second row our Y will be 11 and our first X will be zero. Paste. This time, of course, our Y is still going to be 11. And our X is going to move over to 11. Paste. Y is once again 11. And this time our X is going to be 22. Um, I see a little piece of hand right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more to make sure we get that little piece. Um, y is going to be 11, X is going to be, I think, 33, yeah. And now we're going to move to our next row. So the next row, we just did Y11, so now we're going to do Y22. We're going to start X at zero. Right click, paste. This whole row, Y will be 22. On this one, X will be 11. Paste. Y is again 22. X is now 22. And I see one little piece right here again. So I'm going to do another one. Y is going to be 22. X is going to be, I lost count, 44. Nope, too much. 33. So that'll cover that one. And then I have one more down here. Let's see if I can figure out where to put this block to cover that. 
Um, I think Y is going to be, nope, 44 is not it, 33. And then we need to move over. So let's say, what's 22? Too much. And we know 11 won't cover the whole thing because it'll be right there. So let's try 15. Yep, that covered it up. So now we have all of our blocks. I'm going to go into my layers, go down to my Black Mario layer, and I'm going to arrange and move him to the front. That makes it easier to see everything. So now he'll be up top with our squares. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key. I'm going to select Mario and select one square, and I'm going to slice. With Mario on top, you could easily see what you just sliced. So I'm going to move the red over and delete it. All this red will be extra, so I'm going to move another red, delete it. And it leaves us with the bottom of his foot. I move over here to the side. So again, I'm going to hold down Shift and choose my Slice Image B again. Another square and slice. And it looks like this is this. So I'm going to take away the red, hit Delete. Take away this little piece of red, hit Delete. And we'll have this little bitty piece on here to tape on. That'll be fun to tape on our finished project. Um, I'm going to hold down Shift and choose Slice Image B again. That's always what we're going to be selecting, Slice Image B. I'm going to choose another square while holding down Shift and Slice. So for this one, again, move the red over, delete. Move the red over. Nope, that's the black, so I'm going to put it up here so we can save it. And get rid of the red, delete. Okay, hold down shift, choose slice image B, choose another square, slice. You can see this is kind of tedious, but it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it. It just takes a little bit to go through it all. Delete my red, save my black, delete my red, and repeat. Shift, sliced image B, another square, Slice. And let's see, I bet it's going to be this one. It is. So again, pull the red over and delete. Pull the red over and delete. And keep the black. Hold down Shift, choose Image B, Square, Slice. It's this one right here, so I move the red, delete. Move that teeny tiny piece of red, delete. And in real life, I would have probably changed my Mario to maybe 33 inches instead of 36, and it would have taken care of these teeny tiny pieces on the end, so we wouldn't have had to deal with it. But for the purpose of this video, we'll leave him as is. Um, hold down Shift, do Image B once again, another square, slice. Red. Mine's lagging a little bit. It's getting a little overwhelmed. You'll find that with a lot of layers it might do this. Keep the black and delete the red. Hold down shift, do slice image B, another square, slice. Delete the red, keep the black, delete the red, and repeat. Slice image B, another square, slice, delete the red, keep the black. Delete the red, go back to sliced image B, another square, slice, almost done with this background layer. 
delete, delete, save, sliced image B, another square, slice, Delete, save, delete, and our last one, image B again, our last square, hit slice, delete, delete, and save. So now we have our giant puzzle. When we cut it, of course, it's just piecing it back together. It helps if you look at the finished product um, before we started cutting to kind of see where everything goes. But you can see that you'll just, I used the tape and taped it together on the back and just pieced everything together. So now we're done with our background layer. What we can begin to do, I'm going to go ahead and insert another square. edit that square and make it again 11 by 11. So then go back to my layers. I'm going to start unhiding these other layers. If it's a piece that is smaller than my square, then I'll know it will cut. I won't have to slice it. I'll just leave it alone. And those pieces are great. You'll see that a lot of these pieces are smaller pieces that won't need to be sliced. So there's not going to be too terribly many that will need it. We'll see. Check. Yep, that one's fine. So just keep going and hiding. And when I think something might be bigger than that square, then I test it out. And if it is, then we have to slice it, which I'll show you in a minute. I think with these overalls. So this is going to be our first one that is too big. If you see, I put my score over it. I can't completely hide this thing. So I'm going to have to cut it. I'm going to select it and move it to the front. I just find that that makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. I'm going to move it over my square where I think it will be easy to put back together layer later. So maybe right there. I'm going to hold down the shift key and also choose the square and I'm going to slice. And once again, we get rid of these unneeded layers. So in this case, it's going to be the gray. There's a piece of that that we're going to need to keep. We're going to get rid of that. Now this kept these two pieces together. I'm not sure if that is going to hide behind our square. I'm going to make another square and check it out. I'm going to go to edit, change it to 11. Ooh. 11 by 11 and see if I can cover up those two pieces at the same time. Nope, I can't. So what I'm going to do is just cover up one of them. Actually, now I'm going to click that, hold down shift, choose my square and go to layers and slice. And that's going to cut those two apart so that we can use them so that's going to give us one piece, two pieces to keep. We'll put those back together later, and we're going to delete the gray parts that we're not going to need. So this is what you're going to do, um, continue to do for all your pieces. You're just going to keep unhiding the different parts, checking to see if they're smaller than a square, and if not, you're going to slice them just like we sliced his overalls. So let's pretend we have all these unhidden and that we've done all our slicing. So if we've done it correctly, when we go to go, it will automatically um, spread them out onto our mats. This is the pieces we have so far. If you have not sliced something that was needing to be sliced, it will give you a warning. It will either say, you know, we cannot cut this, or it will say, do you want to move to a 24 inch mat? Um, but in this case, the ones we have showing so far are either smaller than our square 
or we have sliced them like we did these overalls. There's not too many pieces that need slicing. Um, I think his hat, let me see, that's one of them. It's going to be bigger than our square, so we'd have to slice that. Um, maybe one or two more pieces. It's not... There's not a lot. Like I said, we're very lucky. A lot of these pieces are small and they'll just cut as is. So this really isn't as hard as as you might think looking in. So, and again, if you want to test it, you can just hit go. Make sure. See, now it's giving us the warning because it's not going to cut out this hat. Um, it's telling us it's changing our mat to a 24-inch mat, which if we don't want it to do that, then we need to get back out and we need to slice that with our square. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. Hope this helps to explain things. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I will see you next time. Thanks.